What the fuck is a Bakugan? Bakugan is really quiet. Bakugan were these toys back when I was in middle school. Actually, you know what? I have one in my desk drawer if I look for it. Bakugan were these crazy popular toys when I was in middle school. Where they were like these little balls, and if you roll <laughs> little balls, and if you rolled them onto metal cards, they would pop into like creatures. I swear I have a Bakugan in here somewhere. <laughs> I, I can't find the Bakugan. I thought I had one in here. I'm like 90% sure I do. But, uh, my desk is also a mess, so I, uh, I can't find it. But yeah, Bakugan were these, like, little, little, little creatures. Balls. <laughs> Bakugan is Steve Coogan's less famous brother. That's what they are. That little ball that you just saw roll onto the card, that's a Bakugan. And they turn into these monsters. And you fight with them. They're pretty cool. That guitar is ripping. Okay, the game is called Bakugan Battle Brawlers. Are these just knockoff Pokemon? So, like, they have this a similar, like... Oh, Bakugan Battle Brawlers. They have, like, a similar, like, oh, they're monsters and they do things uh, type appeal. But I wouldn't say they're, like, super comparable to Pokemon. It's kind of like an entirely different game. <laughs> what Pokemon knockoff is this? That's all we're going to talk about today. I don't know. Like, this game... This game is very... It plays very different from Pokemon. It's definitely, like, its own unique thing. But it was definitely inspired by Pokemon. My old save files. Roxy and Bob. So we're just going to do a couple matches for fun. You guys will, uh... You'll figure out the game, hopefully, along the way, and I'll remember how to play the game, too. Now, it's been a long time since I played this game. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, no, 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 I can't, I can't, no, 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 I can't, I can't show that. No, I can't, I can't even, I can't, I can't, nope, I can't, I can't have the audio on. That is, that is directly from the TV show. That's, that's gonna get copyrighted. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, there we go. We're good now. That is directly from the TV show. It's basically Pokemon. It's not. It's it's a completely different experience. You'll see. You'll see how it differs pretty soon. I feel like there were a few Pokemon-inspired games that were actually pretty good, but kind of just get forgotten. See, the thing is, this game... It got forgotten for a while. Someone in chat told me like uh, a couple weeks ago or maybe like a month ago that Bakugan was coming back in like a big way, apparently. There's a TV show? Yeah, yeah, there was a TV show. Back like, I don't know, like seven, no, way more. 13, 10, 13 years ago, there was a Bakugan TV show. This was big. I would go to Target to try to buy Bakugan and they'd be, they'd be sold out. I would never be able to get Bakugan. All right, let's see this game. We might have some cutscenes. I think there's like an edgy Mary Sue Bakugan. What are we naming our character, guys? Pingus? Fighting monsters in a ball with a TV show with toys? Pokemon. It was pretty popular in the USA. Magi Nation is another one that I hear good things about. I don't know if I've heard of that one. I don't know if I've heard of that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna name this Pingus. Oh, except I'm gonna name us, like, the original Pingus from Sonic. Oh, we get to make our character! What attribute do you guys want to play as? Mary Sue Bakugan? Yeah, there's, like, a Mary Sue insert Bakugan that doesn't actually exist in the show that you get. Right, I'm off to get some sleep. Have a great night, everyone. Yo, peace out, D-Cannon. Thanks for coming by. Alright, so we can select an element here if you guys want. Well, we have to. Uh, there's fire. The there's earth. Of earth. Chaos. The there's light. light. Darkest. The there's dark. Aquas. There's water. The and there's wind. wind. Do you guys have any preference on what we do? I, I generally tend to do like dark, light, or fire because I think they're sexy. But realistically, we can do whatever you guys want. I'd say light or dark. Let's go dark. I want to be I want to be edgy. 
They call me Pre because I got the drip. It was a monster fighting game, monster fighting Pokemon game on the Game Boy Color. 86% on game ranking. 86% on game rankings. Often remembered fondly in hidden gems threads. And this was, uh, it was Magi, what was it? Magi Nation on the Game Boy Color. I'm always looking, I feel like there aren't enough like good Game Boy Color games that I know about. I'm always looking for new Game Boy Color games. So I'm gonna write that down because I want to suss that out. I'm getting a lot of good game recommendations today. This is probably more game recommendations than I've ever gotten. Is this like picking Squirtle or Bulbasaur? Not exactly. Darkus, the apple. Not exactly. Pick Charmander. We gotta make our character. Just gonna pick a uh, pick the average white dude. Pick Cyndaquil. Yo ho! What's up, Epical? How's that that cheese? We were talking about that cheeseburger and chat earlier today. I was like, yo, I was an Epical stream last night. We were talking about a sandwich. Completely one up to me with a cheeseburger. Yo, Cyndaquil is a fantastic starter. I love Cyndaquil so much. Maybe my favorite starter of all time. Don't get me wrong, I'm a big Bulbasaur fan. But I love me, uh, I love me some Cyndaquil. Gotta make Ash? What does Ash look like? <laughs> I could do Afro. <clears throat> I could do Bald. I could do Cornrows. I could do I could do Steve at age 20. <laughs> I could do Steve at age now. I have like three stuffies and 10 to 15 cards, including a hollow. Of Cyndaquil? That's pretty awesome. I want a Cyndaquil stuffy. I got a Bulbasaur stuff. Remember the episode of the show where Ash had to stop Charmander from dying in the rain because it dies if its tail flame goes out? I do remember that episode. Ashfro, you want to see Ashfro? You want to see Ashfro, Steve? We're gonna go Ashfro. Red Afro. We could be like a clown. <laughs> Yo, you guys want to see my clown impression? <laughs> I wish I could give myself a clown nose. The blonde Afro. Have you ever seen blonde Afro? Probably. They they exist. I think I've seen one actually. The black Afro. Let's go with the, uh, no, 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 let's, <laughs> this looks so stupid. Let's go with the black one. We're darkness. I saw one. It was from the 80s. Okay, that explains it. That explains it. Big fucking anime eyes. Those eyes are like half the size of this dude's face. Yo, Epical. Um, our question of the day is what is your most nostalgic PS2 game? If you played a lot of PS2 back in the day. Do you have a, uh, a nostalgic PS2 game you'd like to share with us? Pingus is a total ginger. Most nostalgic. It doesn't have to be your favorite. It doesn't have to be your best. I just want to know like what the most nostalgic is for you. And if you didn't play much PS2, you can just list off like your most nostalgic overall. I'm not picky. <laughs> yeah, we'll go ginger for this, Steve. So you can either have thin lips or full lips. Every time I think of PS2, I think of three games. And those three games are Shadow of the Colossus, Shadow of the Colossus, and Final Fantasy X. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What games do you think of? Ah, McDonald Ash. What are we gonna put on for a shirt? What does Ash wear? Oh, I used to love this edgy leather jacket. I used to put this on all my characters. FF10, Champion of Norath and Need for Speed Underground. Oh, I don't have Need for Speed Underground, but I have Midnight Club, which is kind of similar. It's a racing game. I do have FF10. Champions of Norath I've never heard of. Is that an RPG? It sounds like an RPG. Gingers have no lips. Bakugan! They they call him Bakugan Crone. Yo, what's up? Fucking Bakugan, dude. I had MC3 DE Remix. Uh, Marvel Capcom? Marvel vs... What, what is MC3? Is that Marvel vs. Capcom 3? Shadow of the Colossus is great. I have it. I still gotta finish it. Midnight Club. I, I have no... No train of thought. I totally forgot I was talking about Midnight Club. This guy's got a Pokeball on his shirt. Let's go with this shirt. Yeah? 
Oh, with this shirt, huh? I love Bakugan, Jesus Christ. Yo, Bakugan was the shit. Hold on, Big Crone, Big Crone, I gotta show you something. So, uh, this is one of the Bakugan I have. This one is an extra large Bakugan. It's very big. Let's see if I can, uh... So I put it on something metal and it opens up. This is Fear Ripper. I remember this guy's name. It's Fear Ripper. <laughs> yeah, make it even more of a Pokemon knockoff. Listen, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Fear Ripper right down here, right next to us for this stream, because I want Fear Ripper here. It is a pretty neat toy. They they had these cards. So how the game works is they you would lay out cards on the ground and you would roll the Bakugan onto them so that they open up, and then you'd flip those cards. And the the Bakugan would get like certain attributes based on the cards and they'd fight each other It was actually a really fun game and you're gonna see how it works pretty soon. Hold on. I gotta scroll up and catch up on chat It was just now brought to my attention that Yakuza 1 was on the ps2, which I think was pretty good Yes, Yakuza 1 and Yakuza 2 were both on the ps2 and they are fantastic Although I think uh, Yakuza Kiwami 1 and 2 are probably more worth playing this day and age unless you really enjoy Yakuza Hi everyone, how we doing? Pretty good, Big Crone. Big Crone, what is your most nostalgic PS2 game? I have to know it. Yeah, make it even more of a... Oh, that is a pretty neat toy. It is! Bakugan toys are legendary. Fear Ripper, not edgy at all, I know, right? Only on Aeon full stream does it take an hour on the character customization screen. You say that, but I was watching someone play Monster Hunter Rise the other night, and it took forever to do character creation. Yo! The peaceful elk. Yo, I saw you playing some Valorant the other night, dude. You get any wins? Let me shout out the homies. The peaceful elk has been hanging out for a long time. You gotta go to go check out some the peaceful elk streams. I know they've been streaming some Valorant. That's what I've seen recently. Definitely go check out the homie. I watched Aaron Stevie play Cyberpunk and literally spend eight hours in game. <laughs> eight hours. Yo, I'd spend eight hours alone on customizing my junk in that game. We're gonna play this game for an hour, guys. <laughs> Only does character customization. Yo, if I pick these ones, it looks like I wet my pants. What about... What about these pants as Japanese? Why are these pants called Japanese? I don't get it. Digimon Rumble Arena. That's like an either you love it or you hate it type game. And I've never played it, actually. I've heard it's pretty fun. Unfortunately, I lost five competitive games in a row that night. Aw, oh, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you for the resub, dude. Thank you so much. Three total months? Am I reading this correctly? Three months? Yo, that's incredible, dude. Thank you. <laughs> One hour later. All right, guys, we finished making Pingus. It, that's exactly how it's going to be. It's exactly how it's going to be. Yo, you had some barbecue? Yo, what kind of barbecue did you have, Big Chrome? Champions of Norath was a CRPG, so it was Diablo, but better. Ooh, I I was into uh, some Diablo clones recently. So I think I could uh, I, I could spend some time fucking with that. So Champions of Norath. I'm writing down all of these recommendations today because I need more PS2 games. Champions of Norath. I see you, Cubone. Cubone, how are you doing today, you lovely human? Oh, what's this? This is Bakugan Battle Brawlers on the PS2. We're doing our PS2 variety stream. I'm not sure if you knew what Bakugan was back in the day. This is a Bakugan. It's an extra large Bakugan. If I take something metal... <laughs> I fucked it up. If I take something metal, it opens up into a monster. Champions return to arms. There's two of them. Ah, I'll have to keep that in mind. So you kind of like... You fight these monsters against each other, and they made this awesome game about it. And this game is really fucking cool. Here, we're gonna put the shorts on, give him some black shorts. This is our character. We, we named our character Pingus. I forgot all about them. I could never forget about these, these games. This game was pretty much my childhood. Good old Pingus. Barbecue sounds awesome. Borgs, yo, you had some Borgs? I want a Borg. Epical just had a had a good Borg last night. 
Ch Champions of Norath is also based on the engine of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, which is just Diablo Forgotten Realms edition. Yeah, we were talking about Baldur's Gate earlier. Yo, Cubone, if you had to pick one PS2 game that was like the most nostalgic for you, doesn't have to be the best, doesn't have to be like your favorite, but just the most nostalgic, what would it be? Yo, let's put on the Tims. We got the Tims. <laughs> Hey guys, we finished Pingus an hour later. I wish there was a good Acceleracers game. I don't know if I know Acceleracers. It sounds super familiar, but I don't know if I know it. Final Fantasy X, you're not the only one to say Final Fantasy X. Yeah, Final Fantasy X is one of the, uh, the Hallmark PS2 games for me. All right, we're loading into the game. Look up Acceleracers, you'll remember. All right, hold on. Let me open up my phone here. It sounds super familiar. You guys enjoy this unknown hyperspace cutscene while I look this up. Acceleracers. Oh, is it like a Hot Wheels thing? Oh, I was big into Hot Wheels back in the day. Finally, the silent orb is I forgot about this dude. <laughs> Oh look, it's Dragonite. Me. <laughs> this seems like super nostalgic, but something I don't have like direct memories of. Acceleracers. I used to love playing with Hot Wheels. I bet I could still find a bunch of my Hot Wheels in like a toy chest somewhere in my house. It's a Hot Wheels cartoon with a great story and super cool cars and mods. Hell yeah. I had like a, a kind of like a tiny PlayStation. Oh yeah, so like Yu-Gi-Oh, Bakugan get banned to the fucking Shadow Realm in this game. So it's a little bit like Yu-Gi-Oh as well as Pokemon. So we're in the Shadow Realm right now. Maggie said tonight is the Worm Moon. Yo, everyone give it up. Give it up for the Worm Moon. Raise your hands up to the sky and give the Worm your energy because it's Worm Moon night tonight. I'm behind that. I love that. The Worm Moon. I'm here for it. Apparently the cartoon was made by the same people that did Reboot. I love Reboot. I haven't seen Reboot. Haven't heard of it. Read the cowboy scripture. I'm gonna go stream, brother. Have a good night. Yo, peace out. Thank you for the, the resubs of Peaceful Elk. I hope you get some uh, some wins tonight. Or, uh, what are you streaming? No, no, no. You said you were streaming Rehydrated, right? I hope that goes well for you. That's not Valorant. I was in the Valorant brain. Let's go Worm Moon. What are we going to read for Cowboy Script? Oh, this is a great quote. No way. Yo, what's up, Nami? How you doing? Guys. I'm going to go nap. Be and good, friend. Fun. Yo, peace out, Epical. We'll Thanks for coming to hang out. Battle. These characters Thank suck. You. Mounted on my favorite horse, what's my lariat problem? near my hand, and my trusty gun in my belt, I felt I could Nothing. defy the world. Like a quote by well, Nat so Love. I. Now, yeah, I just I like, I just like Bakugan. Yo, what are you up to today, Nami? But I'm new at Bakugan. I don't even know all the rules yet. I don't You're even know all the rules yet. The hard way. Teach him a lesson, Shuji. Back off, Shuji. Back off, Shuji. Uh, Dan, this is none of your business. Get lost. Hey, kid, what's going on? Whoa, Bakugan Dan life. from the Bakugan. Bakugan is life. All over the net. Gotta reset these so captions. Are you serious? That would be awesome! Also, I want to see if I can get subtitles no on the game real quick. Because so I'm going to talk over a lot of what these people lucky, say. I won't even charge you. There we go. Captions should be reset. Jet Set Vibes. Yo, I've never played Jet Set Radio, but I really want to. That old school cell shading. What did Butt Spot say? <laughs> tiggle Wiggle, Tiggle Wiggle. Yo, hold on. I got I to gotta scroll up. I missed some shit. I'm gonna go set up in a sec too. Yo, peace out, Lude. Thanks for coming by. Good, good. Yo, Nami, if you had to pick one PS2 game that you'd say is your most nostalgic PS2 game, what would it be? I have to know. Bakugan is a game. Bakugan is a game where players start with a dick. Three Bakugan. Just fought Yojimbo in 14. You you fought Yojimbo? Or did you do the gold saucer Yojimbo event? Yo, Big Crone, thank you for the 14 biddies. Bakugan is life, dude. Jet Set vibes. I love the typical badass wipe your mouth with you. Oh yeah, Dan does that. Yo, that re that reminds me. That reminds me. Uh, I used to do that all the time when I played this game. He what he does is he takes his thumb and he goes against his nose like I'm Dan. 
I'm Dan, the best Bakugan player in the world. I put my thumb on my nose so you know I'm cool. I remember that. Stupid looking pingus. I don't even know. Okay, so if you don't know what your, your most nostalgic PS2 game is, what is your most nostalgic game overall? Be right back editing videos. You got it, Cubone. For sure. Thanks for, uh, thanks for hanging out. I fought Yojimbo. It's part of the Hildegard quest line. Oh! Or not Hildegard. Hildebrand. I assume you mean Hildebrand. Um, I haven't finished the Hildebrand quests. I have to. They're so much fun. Mario Kart? Which Mario Kart? I have to know which one. King of the Cosmos raiding a Bakugan planet. Okay. Okay. We're not even going to see the gameplay yet. We're going we're gonna to draw some MS Paint for Steve. Hard to pick. It is hard to pick. Do you want to hear my Mario Kart answer? Do you want to know which Mario Kart game I'm in love with? Do you want to know which Mario Kart game I'm in love with? It is a Mario Kart Wii, I'd have to say. I'd have to say Mario Kart Wii is my... Is the one I played the most as a kid. Although I played a lot of Super Circuit. I played a lot of... Oh, I did play a lot of Mario Kart DS too. That one had cool missions in it, which was a lot of fun. All right, let me open up MS Paint here. If you're new to the channel, what we do every time we get a terrible MS Paint uh, redemption is we draw whatever the redemption is in everybody's favorite software, MS Paint. And so today, Steve has requested we do King of the Cosmos from Katamari raiding a Bakugan planet. So we're gonna draw this big King of the Cosmos head. That's what he looks like, right? And then he kind of goes, like, he's got like a jawline. This is what the King of the Cosmos looks like. This is not what the King of the Cosmos looks like. He's got kind of like a sharp nose. And he's got a mouth. <laughs> Big pingus alert. And then he's got like arms and a body. Mm-hmm. So here's the thing, in game, he definitely has like a fucking bulge, even though it's rated E for everyone. I don't think I can draw that here. I don't think I can I can do that. I think if it's part of the game and we don't talk about it, it's okay, even though we talked about it. But if I draw it in MS Paint, it's gonna be a fucking problem. I can't draw bulges on stream. There, he's got he's got like two fingers. Sure you can, it's just a U shape. I think he has a Waluigi stash. Oh yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. I think you are right. Let's give him the, the zappy mustache. And he's got kind of like designs on here that I'm not gonna bother drawing because I want to play a Bakugan. So let's move him up over here. And then we're gonna draw, instead of like a Bakugan planet, here's what I want to do with this. I want to draw, can you unselect that please? There we go. I want to draw like an opened up Bakugan. Yo, what's up, Jen? We're drawing Steve's redemption. We're drawing a uh, King of the Cosmos from Katamari raiding a Bakugan planet. This looks like his head is on a veiny pen 15. That's just what his head looks like. So I'm gonna open up Fear Ripper here and we're gonna, we're gonna have the King of the Cosmos raiding Fear Ripper. So Fear Ripper kinda has like the ball, the ball body. We're playing knockoff Pokemon. I've been on Lurk, but kids in bed now. Ah, oh, yeah, I got you, I got you. Yeah, I know you popped in here a bit earlier. I figured you would be uh, pretty busy moderating Ono's stream. Ono's live right now, right? I'm not tripping, right? I, I assume at this point in my Sunday stream, Ono's already gone live. So this is kind of like Fear Ripper's arm here. How's Ono doing? How's Ono's stream tonight? Dark Souls 2? How's Dark Souls 2? I've been on Lurk, but Tiggle Wiggle in bed. Now, Buttspot. <laughs> Buttspot. My dude. Is there a, a unicorn Bakugan? So basically a planet that unfolds into a Bakugan? I, I don't know. I don't think any of them are planets, but I mean, it's been so long since I've known anything about Bakugan. I, I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. Fear Ripper has these like big, big giant hands. He's like, oh, I got, I got hands, you know? And his body kind of like comes into the ball here. And this can kind 
to be blocked off, and he's got eyes, and he's got a big, strong abdomen. <laughs> he's got a big, strong abdomen. I know less than nothing about Bakugan. I kind of feel like that too, because it's been so long since I was into ba- Uh-oh, where's the hole? It's been so long since I was into Bakugan, I kind of forgot everything that was relevant. But I think I could still manage playing the game. No, there's a hole! Unicron. Not, oh, yeah, yeah, U Unicron, the Transformer guy. Yeah, I misread it, but I knew what you were saying. There's a hole there. Digimon or Pokemon? So I personally have to go with Pokemon. Personally. But I played my first Digimon game this year, and you know what? I had fun with it. I think it was a fun time. I think it was a good game. I'm just personally more nostalgic for Pokemon. Basically the Death Star, but instead of shooting a laser, it turns into a huge robot and eats the planet. That's what I do in my spare time. It was like if the Death Star could have turned into Galactus. You could be Baku wrong. I think the king has abs. Oh yeah, the king definitely has abs. Should definitely draw some up. Some abdomen on the king. There we go. And the king, uh, king wears like dark, dark purple or some shit. Like dark purple and green. Yeah, that looks right. I'll give him some green pants. No, he had like, he had maroon pants on. I remember it because we spent a lot of time staring at the bulge. Oh, I remember. I remember. His face is like green, right? And then he's got that Waluigi mustache. Isn't he super buff? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. He totally is. He totally is! And then I think this stuff on the side was kind of like gray with colors in it that I'm not going to be able to put in here. Because I'm, I'm just not going to not gonna de devote the time to it. I'm so excited to play Bakugan. You don't even know. It's color in his hands here. Oh, that's not his hand. I don't know what color his feet are, but we're just going to assume he's not wearing shoes. Because uh, we've already got green selected. And let me close up the hole on the finger. He looks like he's got a huge travel pillow on his neck. He does. It's just part of his outfit. A never-ending pillow that you can bring anywhere. It's part of the fit. I love it. I'm glad you love it. I actually still have to uh, make it so that he's raiding Fear Ripper. Huh. Only four. Only 400 G Gs? What a weak Bakugan. Poop. <laughs> B poop. Let's make that text a little bigger. What's he rating, Ass Ripper? <laughs> ass Ripper. Let me give him a, a text bubble here. That's not a very good text bubble. That's not a very good text bubble. There's like no way to, uh, you know what? It's okay. We're just gonna put the text bubble like that. And then we're gonna take this and put it more like up here. I don't, I don't fucking know. All right, hold on. Move Fear Ripper. Um, and then move the king down to right here. Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> put Fear Ripper a little close, a little, little closer. And there you go art there's king of the cosmos uh very negatively rating fear ripper uh, let me save this in the aeon arts file and then we'll get back to the game 33 king of the cosmos rating fear ripper okay let's play the game let me switch back my source i know you guys can hear it but i would like to hear it and see it for myself I know you can't see it though. I gotta put it back on the screen. I wish I had a stream deck so I could just like switch between stuff really fast, but I don't. Bakugan is a game where players start with a dick of cards and three Bakugan. Your goal is to win three gate cards. First, first each, player each player takes a gate card from their deck and puts it on the battlefield. Thanks, Dan. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how this game works. 
it's pretty cool. This this battlefield is kind of the boring battlefield, but there are better battlefields in this game. You don't stand a chance. No narr the narration is in the game, DMAC. The narration is in the game. Gate cards do three things. Boost your G power. Boost your G spot power. Which type of battle uh, you'll play. Gate card set! Gate card set! I prefer the Aeon narration. I don't think I can turn off Dan's narration Let's though. Let's try throwing and landing on a gate card. Let's try throwing and landing on a gate card. Aim with the left end. Do I still remember how to do this? I oh man, I don't know. It's been a while, guys. It's been a while. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw him over here. We have Juggernoid, Serpenoid, and Saurus. I'm gonna give a, a power throw on Juggernoid. Skips tutorial message. Do I still remember how to do this? So like, I'm reading the tutorials for the buttons, but there are like specific arcs that are better to throw than other arcs that'll help me more. That's what I don't remember how to do. The power gauge fills automatically. You press R2 to select your power level. It's over 9,000. To throw, let go of R2 while targeting while the targeting rings are lined up. Okay. Okay, so right there. Oh no, I fucked up. By using the left analog stick. You so we throw it there. I'm gonna throw it right out of the ring. Oh, it bounced off the wall. And then we can kind of guide it to the card. Yeah, okay, that was terrible. But we got Juggernoid onto the card. Bakugan, stand! You rock! You rock! Now it's shoot. Now it's Shuji's turn. CPU2's turn. So now your opponent throws a Bakugan. Bakugan brawl! Bakugan brawl! You can shoot at an opponent. It looks like he's got uh he's got like the worm Pokemon. With the left analog stick. You can shoot. Oh, I can shoot him. I'm shooting him. I'm shooting him. I'm shooting him. No, get off my card. Oh no, he's got Serpenoid. I thought it was the worm one. I think that's Serpenoid. <clears throat> Battle start when two Bakugan land on the same card. Win the battle to win a gate card. So when you win the gate, you're trying to win like three gate cards to win the battle, I think. <laughs> yeah, he's got a Serpenoid. So then you go into the battle and you play a little mini game action. <laughs> Win your gay card, exactly. Gay card, set! <laughs> exactly. Each gay card has a G power boost that gives Bakugan extra G power. <laughs> extra G power for your G cards. Start of a battle. Uh, so see the card has 20 for Earth Bakugan, so he gets a 20 boost, and it has 50 for, uh... Dark Bakugan, so I get a 50 boost. So my power is already higher, but we can still play. We're still gonna play the mini game. You can use an ability card right before a battle to make sure we win. If you play the right card, you can also play ability cards. I don't need to. Yeah, he's not playing an ability card, so we're good. We're just gonna do the uh, the mini game. Timing battle level one. How does this work again? Time your actions with the moving symbols. I don't. I don't remember how to do this. Oh yeah, okay, I remember how to do this now. It's like Guitar Hero. This part is like Guitar Hero. Here we go, guys. Oh, look at how much I'm shredding him. <laughs> look at this. This is nothing like Pokemon. We won 428 to 278 on this gate card. So now we get to watch our Bakugan absolutely fucking abolish this fucker. Now he's dead. <laughs> yes! We won! We murdered a snake! Juggernoid outdanced Serpenoid, exactly. He had those great Guitar Hero moves. Nice job! So now I get the first gate card, and I, you can see there's a mark next to my player up in the top left. I've got two more gate cards to get. 
Uh, so there's obviously a gate card right here. This is the only gate card on the field, so we're just gonna roll over there. And I think we're just gonna go with a normal roll, and I wanna go with Saurus. Maybe like a little lower power, because we just wanna land on it right there. I'm landing on the corner that's closest to the enemy, because I don't want him to hit me with a power throw and bump me off, which he can do. It's actually one of my favorite strategies, just bumping people off the card. If you throw your Bakugan hard enough and you hit the other Bakugan on the card and you knock them off, you immediately win the card. CPU 2's turn. CPU 2's turn. Yeah, show me CPU's two, CPU 2's turn. Bakugan Brawl! Bakugan Brawl! If we can keep him away from the card, we won't even actually even have to fight. Stay away. Oh shit, he actually didn't land on the card. He actually didn't land on the card. Player one. It is the tutorial. That might have been scripted. Shoot! Oh yeah, that was definitely scripted. They're trying to show you that if you land two Bakugan on the same card, you can catch the card. Bakugan brawl! Bakugan brawl! Bakugan stand! So now since I've got two on the card, I immediately win it. It's called a double stand. You won't beat me! Nice double stand! So now we're one card away from beating the tutorial. I played this game... I really loved this game as a kid. I played this game on the Wii. I played this game on the Nintendo DS. And obviously I have it on the PS2 as well. So... I played a lot of this game as a kid. He's going for his own card. Oh, yeah, okay. I can knock him off. Oh, I could easily knock him off this card. Check this out, guys. Check this out. I'm going to throw right at this guy. We're going to try to knock him off the card. Um, Serpenoid? Saurus? Let's go up! Let's go, let's go Serpenoid. Oh no, wait, hold on, no, wrong throw. I gotta use the power throw. So we're aiming right at him, so we wanna go here, and then throw, and then right at him. No, I missed, are you kidding? I missed. Okay, we'll just fight him for the card. That's fine. That would've been great if I could've knocked him off that card. That would've been lovely. Should have aimed a little bit lower, I think. We got Serpenoid versus who? Who did he pull out here? Oh wow, I got a bigger advantage from this card than he did. Oh, this is also notably a Juggernoid card. So Juggernoid gets a gets another advantage on top of it. But I'm still better off than he is. Not using any ability cards? Alright, dude. It's your funeral. <laughs> it's your funeral. Ready? So this is an entirely different minigame. We're gonna be shooting symbols that appear on the screen. Oh right, this is how it works. I remember. Look at that. Outshot, outclassed, destroyed in every way. <laughs> it's like a turtle on his back. Oh no. Yes, I won! And that should be the entire tutorial battle. That should be it. That's my skills talking! That's my skills talking, says Pingus. Great job, that's game. Sure is. Sure is game. <laughs> so yeah, you can see how it kind of differs from Pokemon. This whole thing is game. It, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this this whole thing is game. How did you be my brother? How did you this be my brother? Kid. Just wait until the tournament. <laughs> You'll be sorry. And he didn't beat me, Akira. I I let him. 
Nice job! You rocked! A little more practice and who knows? We could end up as partners at the tournament Shuji was talking about. That would be awesome! I really love the fucking what? Bakugan on Dan's just... shoulder. To enter a tournament, I need a wicked Bakugan. Something like Drago. I need a wicked Bakugan. You see what you mean? It's real important to have a tight relationship with your Bakugan. Have a tight relationship anyway, with your Bakugan. Thanks, Dan. Gotta roll! Catch you later, buddy, and good luck! Thanks, dude. Bakugan card. I kind of just want to do some battles. Like, I kind of just want to do battles. You may now visit the store. So in this game, you can buy new Bakugan, which is pretty cool. This Bakugan is so cool. I want one just like this. Hi, can I help this you? This is Alice. She sells you Bakugan. Wow, Alice! Wow, Alice! Do you know me? Well, not really, but I've seen you online with the other battle brawlers. You really love Bakugan, don't you? I... You work... I don't want to read this dialogue. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good. She, she sells Bakugan. That's about all you need to know. So you can get like new Bakugan by going to the store, spending like, I don't know, G points or something, whatever they call money in this game. Ooh, needless dialogue. Yeah, we're kind of like stuck at the start of the game where there's like a lot of cutscenes and stuff. I'll be a I probably should have thought this through before Something. popping this in. I should have picked one of the other files. We could just do some battles, What's have some on? fun. Whoa! This is an edgy little cutscene. You get your own special edgy Bakugan here. His name is, uh... What? I don't know, Leonidas? No, 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 it was something else. Wow, I've right? never seen one like this before. Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> Not in Vestroya, then? Who, who are you? My name is Leonidas. Oh, it is Leonidas. <laughs> Hey, you want to partner with me? I bet we could. Yeah, Bakugan anyone. from the Shadow Realm. If I battle with you, I'll have the chance to defeat other Bakugan. Yeah, we'll beat them all. I sense that in this world, I will only release my true power in these Bakugan battles. I sense that in this world, I can only release my true power in these Bakugan battles. He just senses that. He just senses that's the best way to, to release his power. This game's kind of silly. Okay, you can visit the park, you can do the tournament arena, you can do the store. I, I know, we can do the tournament and stuff. <laughs> what day is this? We all know it's Sunday. It's the Sunday variety stream. There are new Bakugan in stock. If these toys are sentient, isn't it kind of disrespectful to just stack them all on top of each other in baskets, like you see on the left here? I sense that I'm gonna have to engage with the game's core mechanic if I want to further my own personal story. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what it's about. Hi. Um, so you can upgrade Bakugan, you can buy cards, and you can buy Bakugan. So I'm gonna start this process off by buying some more darkest, <laughs> darkest Bakugan. Oh yeah, so obviously we've got Juggernoid, Saurus, and Serpanoid. There are lots of other classes. Robotalian used to be one of my favorites. Sting Slash is an interesting one. Oh, Falconeer as a classic. The others you can't look at yet, unfortunately. Oh, this this is like the centipede dude. Uh, I have I want to like dig out my Bakugan collection. Would you guys like? Yo, Vendetta, the legend himself. Hold on, let me get a big sexy shout out for Vendetta real quick. One of the original Twitch homies. What's up, dude? Would you guys um enter? Would you guys be okay if I like went and pulled out my Bakugan collection? I have to, right? Hold on, I have. To.
there's so much dust <laughs> on this container. Hold on. Can I turn the light on? Oh, it's kind of like not great lighting, but I kind of need to see. Okay, so first of all, can you see how much dust is on the top of this container? Oh, <laughs> damn, I gotta go back to work. Yo, don't worry about it, dude. Thanks for coming by. Thank you for the biddies. I know, you gotta work. You gotta take care of those responsibilities. Good to see the PS2 running fine on stream. I were I troubleshot the capture card so long last night. It's now working very nicely. Okay, let's pull out some Bakugan here. So there are two layers of Bakugan. And let me pull out... So these are the metal cards. These are like very thick metal cards. It's a relic from a bygone age. So you take the metal card. And let's take let's take this Bakugan. This is basically archaeology. It's because it's so dusty. This is uh, the Diablo Bakugan, I think. So you pop him on the card, and we've got a Bakugan. What card is this? This is the Spitting Fire card. <laughs> I show you've got a Bakugan. What else do we have here? Wow, I I have a lot of Bakugan. Oh. This one's- I have a couple of these ones. These ones were some of my favorites. Let me show you these dudes. These dudes. I don't remember what these guys were called, but I really liked these ones. I like how right below it says latest follower to pee pee poo poo. <laughs> I'm a- I'm a big fan of- of these fellows. I might have another one of these. Hold on. I think I do. And I think it's... This color? No, I don't I don't see another one of those guys. I don't see another one of them. I really thought I had one. Is this it? This could be it, hold on. No, I think this one's Robotalian. This one's pretty cool though. This is a fire. This is a fire one. It's uh Oh, this is not the one I thought it was going to be. <laughs> but we got this dude here. We got this dude. Um, I think this is the one I thought I was grabbing. Yeah, here's like a, a super strong dragonoid type guy. Got a dragon. I'm not going to show off all of these. I got to put these away now, actually. We got to get back to the game. But uh, yeah, I, had, I have quite a few of these fuckers. And I'm never going to get rid of them because they're so nostalgic for me. And they're fun to, like, pop out and show to people every now and again, you know? You feel? You feel? Oh, hey! We know this shape! Yo, guys, let's play Who's That Bakugan! Let's play Who's That Bakugan with the Bakugan on screen. <laughs> do, do you guys know who it is? Have you figured it out yet? <laughs> it's Fear Ripper! <laughs> Alright, let me put these, these Bakugan dudes away. I took out one of the Bakugan that's so hard to close up accidentally. Close this guy up a little bit, pop him in here. Is it Voltorb? They're all Voltorb. <laughs> They're all Vort Voltorb if you look at him like this. This one's one of my favorites, he's pretty cool. I have another one of him, I think in this desk drawer, but I couldn't find him earlier when I was searching for him. Oh well. Oh well. Maybe I'll find it. If we ever play this game again, I'll be sure to dig out some of these guys ahead of time to show off. We close all of these guys up, put them away. Oh man, this thing's covered in dust. Absolutely covered in dust, folks. Oh, I just spilled all the cards everywhere. Oh, oh, you dumbass. What are you doing? Actually, it's not bad. They're not everywhere. They're still all in the stack. I was exaggerating. I thought it was a lot worse than it was. Let me close up this box. Oh my god, it's so dusty. I have to wash my hands. Okay, hold on. I gotta go wash my hands and put this box away, and then we're gonna play some more of this. Rip is right. Is there gonna be a historical preservation society coming at you for spoiling this dig site? I am the dig site. I am the historical preservation society.
This music kind of jams. <laughs> I was enjoying this across the room. I've washed my hands, we're ready to play. I have no money to buy Bakugan with. We have to actually go do battles to get Bakugan, unfortunately. Thank you. Thank you for coming. See you later. Um, so the best way to do battles is to go to the park. And I guess we're gonna fight Akira. I'm gonna beat you before Shuji does. Let's battle. It would be good to practice. Look at this kid's so teeth. Well oh, you you poor little Rattata looking kid. I remember when I first saw this kid, I always used to think he looked like the Pokemon Rattata. He's gonna use Hyper Fang on me. Hey, wanna hey, wanna battle? I do, Dan. How did you know? How did you know I wanted to battle? Did you like the meme in the Discord? Yeah, yo, what's up, Opal? Yeah, I saw that meme. I, uh, I think I left a reaction Let's on it. Go! I might have not left a reaction. I thought I did. I did like the meme. He does have those rodent teeth. He does. How you doing today, Opal? Yo, Opal, if you had to pick one most nostalgic PS2 game to play, what would it be? Yo, what's up, Randa? How you doing? Welcome back. How's the D&D going? Back for a minute while our sorcerer takes a phone call. For some reason, when I started reading that message, I thought it was going to say, Back for a minute while our sorcerer takes a shit. <laughs> medieval. Oh, the game Medieval? Yeah, I remember that. That was on PS2? I thought that was a PS1 game. I'm dumb, though, so I could be wrong. What is this guy doing? I'll take your challenge. It's going well so far. What have you guys killed today? What's happened in game? Leonidas has get the gate bonus twice. Low energy. That gives us all low energy. Um, what does this enemy guy have for type? Probably Earth, right? So this would be good for me. Alec and I caught a fish. So Alec is treating D&D as though it's fucking Final Fantasy fourteen, Is he? And we struck a deal with the devil. Ah, it might have been. No worries. It's still a nostalgic game. I'll count it. Each Pyrus and Darkest Bakugan gains plus a hunt. Wow, okay. We're gonna start off with the weakest card. Lose the first battle easy. Well, no, we'll, we'll try to win the first battle. But it's not the end of the world if we lose the first battle, you know? So I think the best way to get in here is to kind of like normal bounce. Not Leonidas. I, I want to put... Uh, this dude here kind of bounce and then land right there perfect we could be very easily knocked off this card though if the cpu is good enough so i mean i don't think the cpu is good enough it's like the first non-tutorial cpu oh uh, no don't don't hit me oh he didn't hit me he didn't hit me he was coming for me but he didn't hit me You may have come up in my suggested friends on Facebook and I clicked on you and saw your bio and remembered I had a meme you would like. Oh yeah, 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 the, the, the Donkey Kong. Yes, my bio is definitely Donkey Kong. Feel free to add me on Facebook if you find me on there. I, I tend to just like accept friend requests from people I know, like actually know on Twitch. Open. All right, we've got 50 points from this. He's got 20 points from this. Is he gonna use an ability card? What ability card did he just use? Plus 50 points? You gonna make us even? You guys think I can win this? Ability oh, he's gonna use another one? Kinda <sighs> cringe. Fine. Fine. I'll use another ability card. And we'll be tied, and I'll crush you. Let's go. Let's do it. Timing battle, level one. We're gonna play some Guitar Hero. Kick his ass! Ready? This is the Guitar Hero minigame. This is probably my favorite of the minigames. It's very easy at the start, though. Like, you only have to press square for, like, the easy battles. You got this! Oh yeah, definitely. I don't even have to look at the numbers. I know I'm gonna do much better. 
This is the first non-tutorial CPU in the game. I'd be pretty ashamed if I lost. <laughs> I would I would be pretty ashamed. Did Sephiroth do this? I won! Thank you for the encouragement regardless. I appreciate it. Player one's turn. Player one's turn. That's me. I'm player one. I don't know what gate card he's got out here. But honestly, I'm not concerned. Bakugan, brawl! I'm really not concerned. Bakugan, stand! I'll land right on this card and I'll fight him. See you too. I'll take his card with no remorse. Bakugan, brawl! Here, I'm, I'm shooting him away from the card as much as I can. No, 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 no. You stay away from that card. You stay away from that damn card. No, 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 no. Stay away from the card. <laughs> oh my god. Yo. <laughs> He's getting fucking troll. No, 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 no. Oh, I shot him onto the card. Oh, fuck. I trolled him for so fucking long. <laughs> Oh man, if only the camera angle was a little better. I could have gotten some better shots. Hit him to the side. Juggernoid! Versus what? Who do I have? Saurus? Nice. These are some classic Bakugan right here. These are, these are the classics. Gate card, open! Oh, he regains all ability cards. Yeah, but I get a higher boost, so he can use all the ability cards he wants. And I can still probably trash him. What are you gonna use? Ability. Can he use up 50? You still can't even compare to me with an up 50. What are you gonna use next? Are you gonna use another? Ability. Can you use another up 50? ability cards don't mean shit to my skill. He's not even tied. I don't even have to use a single ability card. Let's go. Let's do it. Power battle. This one's a mashing one. Increase G power by quickly moving L and R. What was it? Left and right? Did it say left and right? Battle! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm going crazy on the control sticks. I'm going crazy on the control sticks. That's probably my least favorite. <laughs> Out of all the mini games, that one's probably my least favorite. Yes, I won! Yes, I won! All right, do we just want to like completely overpower him on the last card? Make it a fucking joke? Let's make a joke out of him on this last card, yeah? We're gonna put Leonidas down. Just obliterate his ass. Set. Obliterate his eradicate looking ass. Okay. Let's aim about right here. Get Leonidas. Pop Leonidas out here. Bakugan Brawl. Uh oh. I went over the card. Hold on. We'll just, we'll just pop our pop our way over the card here. It's all good. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. See you Tuesday. All right, what are you gonna do against me now? You have no chance of beating my Leonidas. You missed both cards. <laughs> he didn't even try. He didn't even try. No, dude. <laughs> we don't even get to obliterate him. So I think the red dragon one you showed off was predictably called Dragonoid. And I think the- Yes! El Condor! That's it! You're totally right. The other ones are El Condor. Um, the Dragonoid I showed off was like a later, like, evolution of Dragonoid or something. He knows he's gonna lose, so he didn't even try. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Okay, we'll use Saurus here. Bakugan Brawl! Bakugan Brawl! We'll just roll onto our card and we don't even have to fight him. We just won that battle. Straight up. Leonidas didn't even get to see any action today. Dude. What a shame. Was it Apollo near then? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Whoa, we got almost 2,000 BP. 
Uh, so our rewards, gate card reward, 200 for three cards. Destruction reward? What is the destruction reward? You get rewards for defeating more Bakugan. So I kind of wish we could have fought for the extra cash, but you know, whatever, whatever, it's fine, it's fine. Oh well, I guess I knew this would happen. I know you knew you would lose. I know. That's our skill talking. That's our skill talking. <laughs> Anytime someone is like, here's a thing I don't know, I can't rest until I've obsessively Googled it. One on See, the thing is, I couldn't even, like, confirm whether you got the right name for, like, the dragon one. I think it was, like, Hyper Dragonoid or something like that. I don't know. That's the bulletin board. You can check out goals that other battlers posted. Defeat all challengers in one-on-one -on -one battles at the park. Who's at the park? Who else can I fight today? Someone mentioned something I've never heard of, and I can't rest until I've learned everything about it. I've been, uh, so I haven't been, like, learning things about stuff today, because I've been streaming, but I've written down a bunch of games that I have to suss out later. One on one! I think I've satisfied my Google obsession on this subject. I am glad to hear it. Glad I could help satisfy chat today. Oh, we can only fight this guy over and over again? Alright, fuck that. We gotta do the tournament to advance the game. Or we could buy a Bakugan from the Bakugan store. You guys wanna buy a Bakugan? You guys wanna buy a Bakugan from the Bakugan store? I wanna buy a Bakugan from the Bakugan store. Bakugacha. <laughs> exactly. Oh, a lot of these guys are way too expensive. Oh, oh, well, I already have Juggernaut. Wait. Oh, I was in the wrong type. Oh, okay, okay, I see. The only one I can afford is Robotalion. But here's the thing. Robotalion's pretty dope. I, like, I'm a big Robotalion fan. Not gonna lie. So I'm gonna get Robotalion. And I'm gonna put him in my party. Peter Pan, <laughs> Peter Pan playing the Nintendo Switch. You got it. Let me just put this Bakugan in my party real quick. Thank and I'll get draw in that. That's a that's a nice easy one. I can manage that. What does Peter Pan looks like? Look like he's got like this he's got a got a green hat and a tunic. Switch up my Bakugan here. Tinkerbell hangs out with him. My deck. Edit my dick. Um. So I want to edit deck. I want to take out. Uh, I probably want to take out Juggernoid. I like Juggernoid, but I think I want to put Robotalion in Juggernoid spot. And just draw a Link. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's just Link. Green hat, tunic, Tinkerbell. Yep, that's Link. You're not even lying is the funny part. Uh, what do we have for decks? Uh, yes, the cards. So low energy kind of sucks. But we don't have any other cards, so it's okay. We'll just keep low energy for now. Mix Link and Navi together and you get Tinkerbell. I never noticed that. Oh, jeez. Exit deck edit. Now, did it save my deck? Did those edits save? Yeah, they did. They did. Speaking of saving, I should save this game. I should save the file. I do want to save my progress. Why, yes. Why, yes, I would like to save my progress. <gasps> Thank you for asking. Let's get some better music on. Is this good music? Yeah, this is pretty fun music. All right, yeah. Let's leave this music on while we draw Peter Pan actually, uh, actually Link on the Nintendo Switch. <clears throat> Let me just move the captions around so they don't get covered up when I open up MS Paint. And let me actually switch the source to MS Paint. Oh, I, re I really need to get Dat Stream Deck set up on a Raspberry Pi so I can just like click between my sources because I'm, I'm tired, of, uh, tired of doing it so slowly. This track bucks. You know what they should do? They should put Cassiopeia in this game. Cassiopeia. Love me some Cassiopeia. Uh, green. Well, I'll draw the, the I'll draw the uh, the outline. Oh yeah, I know you love Cassiopeia. I'm a I'm a big Cassiopeia fan myself. 
Surprisingly, I don't think it was actually you guys who showed me Cassiopeia for the first time, but when I found out you guys liked them, I was like, whoa, that's awesome. It's my favorite Cassiopeia track. Um, whoa, you can use Raspberry Pi as a stream deck? I have, an, uh, I have a Raspberry Pi with a touchscreen kicking around that I never use. So, Domino Line, that's it, that's it. I love Domino Line. It's the one with the bass. The, the bass goes blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Domino line, yeah, that's the one. There's a bunch of other good ones too, of course, because Cassiopeia is dope. Um, what is it? Super Flight Flying, I think, is one I really like. There are just, there are so many. Um, so, yes, you can use Raspberry Pi for Stream Deck stuff. What I'm doing is one of our awesome community members, Sono Jam, programmed his own Stream Deck software. He calls it Dat Stream Deck. Hold on, let me drop DATCOM. It's the Stream Deck software of the DATCOM Discord. So if you want information on it, hop into the DATCOM Discord, ask Sono about it. There's, I think there's a channel for DAT Stream Deck development. Um, if you ever get a chance to check out Sono Gem's channel, here, let me shout out Sono real quick. I'm not sure if Sono's around, so I'll just type that in. If you get a chance to check out Sono's channel, if you catch uh, one of his streams live, and you do exclamation, I'm gonna do it here so you know what the command is, it doesn't work here, but if you do exclamation DSD, you can get the information on Sono Jam's homebrew that Stream Deck software. So it's, it's a Stream Deck software that runs off a of Raspberry Pi, it's very accessible, and uh, it's what he uses. And I think it's what Patches uses, too. And it's what I want to use. I'm putting a little ball at the top of this hat. This is what Peter Pan looks like. Nice, I'll look into all that. Hell yeah. I think it's pretty good. I have to do it. I have to get, um... Once I install my new motherboard and stuff, and I figure out what my, uh my USB situation is going to look like, I definitely want to look into getting that set up. Been something I've wanted to do for a while. From toe to tip, that's Peter Pan. <laughs> to the tip. To the window. To the walls. To the tip, back to the balls. I'm gonna draw Peter Pan with a speedo. This is this is sumo wrestler Peter Pan, I guess. Peter Pan looks like he was born just in time to browse bank memes. He looks like the gnome child uh, from what's it called? RuneScape. What, what's it called again? Oh yeah, RuneScape. That's what he fucking looks like. Erase that right there. Gotta hide that line. And then the Nintendo Switch Portable Entertainment System. Do you guys have a uh, Joy-Con drift on your Nintendo Switch controllers yet? Because the Joy-Con drift, it was not hitting me. I take very good care of my controllers and my game stuff generally. The this is so out of perspective. The Joy-Con drift didn't hit me, and then it hit all at once last year when I was playing uh, Animal Crossing. And I was like, no, no. So I pretty much can't use, uh, I can't use my Switch in handheld mode anymore because I just can't like reliably control the games, which is kind of a huge bummer. I really liked handheld mode. Like, don't get me wrong. If I'm going to choose between the two, I'd like to play it on the TV for like the larger screen but god it was so handy like if i'm going to bed and i want to play some games i can just hop into bed with my my nintendo switch now i can't do that no more now i can't do that pink ball right at the top pink ball right at the tip that's what i'm talking about that's what i'm talking about we all love the pink ball at the tip right what am I saying? What am I talking about? No drift yet for me, but I tend to swap among my Joy-Cons Joy, Joy -Cons to give a break. Yeah, I only have one set of Joy-Cons. My problem. And
and I, I, I'm just not gonna pay like 60, 70 dollars, whatever it is, for another pair of Joy Cons. It's just not happening. There it is. It's um, it's Link. I don't have a Switch, but I tend to forget it even has a TV mode. I just think of it as a handheld. Early B day present. What colors? Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't need another set. I'm just like, eventually I'll have the money to get stuff. Yeah, see, I don't even like want another set. I just want the set that came with the Switch to work. You know, <laughs> that makes sense. I'm not really picky about the colors. I got the I got the nice I got the switch with the the red and blue ones because I like the colors. Um, I wouldn't get like the gray ones. I would just get like the fun colored ones, whatever they are. But they're so expensive. And like I have a pro controller for my switch with no drift, so it's like I can play the switch. I just can't play it in handheld mode. That sucks. What number art is this? Thirty four art number thirty four. Link playing the Nintendo Switch, but that's half the fun of it. I know. Okay, my computer just made a weird noise. That's fine. That's okay. Purple orange, we can match. Yo, purple orange sounds like a really good color, color combo. I used to be really into that color combo when I was younger. When I used to play Wizard 101, I would make all of my wizards have like the purple orange color combo. I would also do like other combos like um, orange and turquoise, orange and teal. I just really liked the fun colors. I had a lot of fun making wizards in Wizard 101 with interesting colors. Okay, tournament arena. I guess we're gonna do a tournament. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, I gotta run to the bathroom real quick. I will be back in two minutes. You know, just not gonna get kidney stones for streaming, you know? It doesn't sound like a healthy idea. I think a cutscene might start, so I'll play the cutscene before we go to the bathroom. Yeah, it's cutscene time. And then I'll take a moment just to run to the bathroom. Wow. Mention my name, you'll get a good seat. <laughs> I remember that joke from last week, and it still got me. I will crush them. Uh, what's the deal? You sound angry. I'm not angry, I just don't fear weak humans. <laughs> don't freak me out. It's like you hate every Bakugan or something. Lighten up, will ya? This dude's so edgy. Let's battle. Let's battle. Turns into a ball. I don't have that many jokes. <laughs> I feel that. Is that the cutscene? Let's take a break. Let's take a break. I want to win, win again in the next match. Reduce, reuse, Almost recycle, gone. old jo Exactly. Two. Tell the joke as many times as you can to as many different people as you can. And impress people with your humor, with your wit. Okay, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. And when I get back, we will be completing this tournament in Bakugan Battle Brawlers. Be right back. Don't go anywhere.
chocolate rain rode my bike into the wrong lane you know when this game came out that was the meme i don't know why i'm thinking about that i was just kind of in the bathroom and i started saying chocolate rain the jams yeah this game has some uh some shredding guitar who's my next opponent probably one of those weak bully kids right shuji yeah this dude sucks let's speed run this battle Ooh. so they're gonna be three different battles in this tournament and then we're done with it and i think at that point we'll move on to another game what we'll play probably ratchet deadlocked probably ratchet I don't think we're gonna get to all the games I pulled off the shelf today, because we're already three hours in. Oops, our sorcerer is done with his call. Gotta get back to D&D. Yo, thanks for coming to hang out. Hope you have a great rest of your D&D session. Have fun, love y'all, be safe. You be safe. Don't die to Eye of the Beholder, whatever his name is. Game start. Game start. Game start. Start with low energy again. I will try. Nice. Shit! As long as your DM is nice, hopefully you won't die. All right. Go around the corner here. We're gonna start with. Yeah, I'll start with Saurus today. Bakugan brawl. Perfect. Right in the corner. That was a that was a good landing. That was nice. See? The skills unreal. CPU 2's turn. Show me what you got, Shuji. Back again, bro. Well, you missed your card. Good one. <laughs> Fucking awesome, dude. Fucking awesome. Incredible. Okay, let's uh, let's do another one right over here. Let's get Robitalian out there with a normal one. Not very strong of a throw. Just kind of like gently toss him over here. Alright, we've won our first card of the tournament. Nice and easy. No fighting necessary. What do you got, CPU2? What do you got? Show me something fun. Really? You're not even gonna try? It's not even gonna try. Joke. Yeah, that is kind of a joke, dude. That's like kind of really disappointing on your part. You could at least fucking try, dude. Bakugan, stand! Bakugan, stand! Stand. CPU 2's turn. All right, please land on the, I'm, I'm gonna fuck with him. I'm gonna try to keep him from landing on the, oh, he actually landed on the card. Oh, he actually landed on the card. Look at those numbers though. He doesn't stand a fucking chance. Does he? Do you guys, do you guys think he stands a chance? <coughs> a Serpanoid versus Leonidas is like twice as strong. More than twice as strong. Serpanoid's at 150G, Leonidas is like 360. That is more than twice as strong. Oh, 340. Still more than twice as strong. So use all your ability cards, Shuji, because I know you're gonna. And then we'll see where we stand. Ability card activating! Okay, he's up by 50. I'm gonna blow my nose while we wait for him to activate all his cards. Ability card activating! That's all he's gonna throw at us. That's it. That's all he's got. And we're still so far ahead. I didn't have to use a single... Oh, and it's the timing battle, too. It's the fun one. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Show me what you got. Battle. It's kind of weird that the bottom button is uh, analog stick to the left when it could have just been like another face button. It's like it's the odd one out. I wonder why they did it. Perfect. Baby. Absolutely undestructible, my Bakugan are. That dude's sleeping. Yeah. 
I won! Yes, I won! Pretty much all I can do is like mime what people say in this game. Player one's turn. Alright, let's put some new gate cards down. Yeah, this is a good card. This is a good card for my deck. Gate card set! Gate card set. Alright, Bubby. Let's go. Bakugan, brawl! Bakugan, stick! Perfect. Right there. Bakugan, brawl! Are you gonna land on a card, or are you gonna fucking perish? I only need one card to win. So even if he lands on his own card, I could just land on my own card. And he didn't even fucking try. <laughs> what a joke! What a joke! Yeah, it kind of is, buddy. It's kind of really disappointing. Bakugan, Pop this Bakugan over there. Oh, what was that? <laughs> what? Hold on. We'll get back over there, don't worry. Bakugan! <laughs> don't worry, we'll get back over there. Double stand. You won't beat me! You won't beat me! That's my skills talking! That's my skills talking! Ha! Fwah! Yeah, but see, we got less points because we killed less of his Bakugan. Alright, who's next? It's probably the, uh, probably his brother. Oh, no, it's, um, what's her name? Runo? R Runa or something? You guys haven't seen this character yet. This character hasn't showed up in the game. This is our first exposure to this character. Uh, I think she uses light Bakugan, like, exclusively. Her main Bakugan is T. Guerrera. Game start. Game set the match. Uh, I like starting with low energy. Gate card set. Gate card set. Yeah, I'm pretty sure her main Bakugan is T. Guerrera, and she only uses light. Let's start with Saurus. Why not? Perfect. That's a pretty good landing spot on the card. Not easy to knock off, not too easy to hit. Who? Oh, you're putting down another card? Okay. We've got some new strategy from the CPUs. Placing another card. So, oh, she's probably gonna try to land on that card? Oh! She hit me! Oh shit! That dude has an incredible amount of G-Power! And he just took a bunch of my G-Power away. We might lose this. No, I'll just throw a bunch of ability cards on. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't even worry. Hey, it's Fear Ripper. We know Fear Ripper. We know Fear Ripper. Gate card open! Gate card open! Wow, that gave her more of an advantage than it gave me. That's rough. I'm gonna have to really work to catch up here. Ability card activate. Now I'm in the bad situation. Ability card activate. Okay, that's that's really all I can do. That's as close as I can get. Timing battle. There's only so good I can do at this. I kind of have to rely on her doing worse than me to win this fight, unfortunately. She is a low level CPU, so hopefully she'll just play like shit. guys damn we got pretty close we didn't do it though 
All right, we lost our first uh, our first engagement in this game. <clears throat> That's fine. Player one's turn. I'm okay with that. Let's gate card. Uh... Yeah, let's put this guy down. Put this guy like right here. Yeah, I'm gonna put this guy right here. Gate card set. So that way, if she comes and shoots at me and tries to hit me, it'll be harder for her to actually get me. Put Robotalian out there. Just like a short little throw is all we need. Bakugan, stay. Just a short little throw is all we need. Now, since we're farther away, it'll be harder for us to actually get us. If she's aiming for us, of course. She might not even be aiming our direction. Okay, well, she came for the card anyways. Uh, I'm gonna get a huge bonus from this card, though, so I don't think it's gonna be much of a problem. <clears throat> At least she didn't hit us. We were in a very easy position to be knocked right off the card. Sting Slash. Robotalion. That dude looks like a Transformer. Open. Oh yeah, 140 plus another 100. That's a pretty, uh, pretty easy V. Ability card See, the problem is I used all my ability cards earlier. So I guess I'm just ready to go. Equalizer. Plus one fit. Oh my god. These ability cards are too strong. Now I'm losing. Power battle. We just gotta be better. I just have to move faster. You guys think I can do it? You guys. Oh wow, we're way off screen. Hold on. I really gotta fight back. Oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, oh yeah, baby, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just, just destroying my controller to play Bakugan. Yes, I won! We won, though. We won. <laughs> That's what matters at the end of the day. I'm gonna take one of these cards, I think. Bakugan! I think I wanna take one of these cards. Bakugan right in the middle, that's good. I can't be knocked off very easily. CPU 2 is turn. And where is CPU 2 gonna go? Bakugan! Bakugan! Oh! I'm knocking, knocking her away. No, 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 no. Oh, you hole. You absolute fucking hole. All right, so here's what I can try to do. I can try to power right into this Bakugan. And try to plow right into it and knock it off. Cause it's right at the corner of the card. I could conceivably knock it right off with a power throw. Bakugan, brawl! Bakugan, oh, stay. I didn't knock it off, but I did. Oh, I did good damage to it. Sphere attack. Payback for earlier. Uh, I don't know what the card is, though, so this card could fuck me. You never know. Is this a Robotalian versus Ro- It is! Robotalian versus Robotalian. Gate card open! They actually call him Robotalian because he's an Italian robot. This is a Fear Ripper card. I was hoping it would be a Robotalian card, believe it or not. Well, <laughs> this one looks like it's mostly decided. A shooting battle. You know, I could still fuck up. I could still mess up. It's still a possibility. You never know. Now I'm trying to get Darkus, and she's trying to get light stuff. There's a lot of light stuff on screen that she's not keeping up with. Meanwhile, I'm shredding because I've played endless quantities of this game. 
I've probably played this game a little too much. Uh, for what it, for what this game is, I've probably spent too long playing this game as a kid. It's just very nostalgic for me. We're talking about nostalgic Baku, nostalgic PS2 games. This is the nostalgic PS2 game. It's one of mine. Maybe not my most nostalgic, but it's definitely one of them. CPU two. Uh, CPU two. So basically, your only option is to land on that last card. God rules! I've already hit her off course a little bit. If I could just no, no, no. If I could just keep keep her. Ah. Uh, it's Fear Ripper again. Well, it's not the Fear Ripper card. Sand. That I'm pretty confident in. Also, Leonidas is down, so regardless of what's on this card, I can get a 200G boost with my own ability card. Fear Ripper. Leonidas. Alright, what card are we on? Oh, wow. So you get a 190 boost and I get a 120 boost. 460 versus 490. Yeah, whatever. Let's make this the last battle. Give me the 200 boost. Let's make sure I win it. Let's just make sure I win it. The power battle, level one. Increase G power by quickly moving the left and right analog stick up and down or left and right. We're already winning by a pretty good amount, so I kind of just have to maintain this. I don't have to break my controller to win this time, guys. Can you hear the, hear the clickies? Hear the clickies on the controller? Easy, baby. GG, easy. Yes, I won. That's the game. That's the second game of the tournament done. That's my skills talking. That's my skills talking. Oh, we got some good points for that one. We're going to have to hit the Bakugan store eventually. I'm going to save before the next battle. Because that battle, uh... That battle wasn't a steamroll, actually. That last one wasn't a steamroll, so it's always possible to lose, and you don't want to lose in the middle of the tournament. My Who's my next opponent? Oh, Marucho! I remember this dude. I remember Marucho. Yeah, he uses, uh... He uses Aquos. Water Bakugan. Alright, here's the big finale of the tournament. Probably the last fight we're going to do in this game for today before we move on to another game. <clears throat> another a fun PS2 game. I'm not sure what we're going to play next. Probably Ratchet Deadlocked. Maybe Simpsons Hit and Run. Maybe Star Wars Battlefront. Alright, what do you got? We got this. The tiny nerd child. You can't fight my afro. My afro is too strong for you. Um, low energy isn't really a great card for this match. I'm not going to lie. Low energy is not a great card. Low energy will give him a bigger boost than it gives me. And I think it's a card I want to use when I, I know he doesn't have Diablos ready to go. Uh, so in the meantime, I guess we will throw Saurus? I think I want to put Saurus. No, that's not like a great place. That's not a great place for Saurus to land. I was hoping to get into the middle of the card. Okay. Show me what you got, Marusho. Who you throwing? Oh shit. Oh, look at that. He was trying to hit me. I knocked him off course. And now I've got a pretty good shot at hitting him, honestly. If we just aim it right. Uh, we're gonna get... Yeah, I want to use Leonidas on this one, I think. I want to use Leonidas. Whack him! That was a good sphere attack. Oh, that wasn't as good as I thought it was, actually. Oops. Oh well. It's still pretty good, and Leonidas is pretty strong. Boom, 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 boom. 
All right, what ability cards are you gonna use to fuck with me? Wow, he doesn't even get that much of a bigger boost than I do. So I'm at 450, you're at 359. You're not gonna use anything? Okay, sure. We'll save our ability cards, I'm fine with that. Shoot your Bakugan's attribute symbol by pressing R2 to gain G power. I was born ready. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Battle! No, he fucking took mine. It doesn't help him to take mine, he just takes it. It's just a waste of time. Nice, easy. Hey, he ended up 469. The 69. Can I get a nice in chat? I won. Is that my first card in this battle? I think it is. I think that's the first card. Okay, and let me guess. You're going to shoot right at me. Haha, <laughs> loser. That was his Diablos, too. That was his Diablos. Unreal! Unreal! Yeah, I know, dude. Aren't you fucking bummed? You completely fucked that up for yourself. And now you've given me a free excuse to just go land on my own card. Bakugan, stand! Easy, baby. You won't beat me! You won't beat me! Alright, let's put down some cards. I'm gonna put down, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put down Leonidas. I get all my Bakugan back, so I might as well put down Leonidas and finish strong, you know? But let's see what this goober does. Bakugan Brawl! Can I hit him onto my card? Yo, yo, hit him onto my card! I couldn't even get him onto my card. He didn't even want to land on a card, I guess. Alright, dude. Okay. Leonidas, normal throw. Send him out there. Bakugan, stay! That's right at the corner of the card, yet again. I'm not a big fan of landing there. What do you got, Marucho? Bakugan Brawl! <laughs> he keeps trying to hit me and he just shoots right past me. Wow, these guys don't even try to land on the card. All right, I'm going to bounce a Bakugan off the wall here. Bakugan Brawl! Oh shit, okay, I'll bounce it off that wall too. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nope. I'll try harder next time. No, that was shitty all over. Way too much power bouncing off that wall. What do you got for me today, Marucho? Here, you, you taste the wall. Enjoy the wall. Oh, okay, you wanna come fight? We'll come fight, that's fine. Stand. To be completely honest, I kind of wanted to go toe for toe with Diablos anyways. That's this dude's name, right? Diablos? I know it's his main Bakugan. It's his partner Bakugan. It's it's his Leonidas. Oh, it's Preas. I think it like eventually changes into something called Diablos. It's called Preas right now though. Preas. He's an ass man. He prays to ass. Can you keep up, Preas? Can you keep up with Leonidas' power? What are you gonna do for ability cards? Ability card activate! Okay, you're making sure we do a power battle. That's kind of cringe. Ability card! Oh, okay. You want to use our alts? We'll use our alts. Ability card! Gonna put another hundred on? Ability Fuck it. I'll use my cards. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go all out. We're gonna bet it all right here. Yeah, I'll use clean slate too. Alright, let's do it. Let's win this tournament, guys. Let's make it happen. Increase G power by boo ba boo bee ba boo. Ready? Of course I'm ready. 
Oh yeah. Up and down, side to side. Up and down, side to side. I'm already over the thousands. He's still in the 900s. I'm already in 1100. Oh, he didn't even make it to 1100. What a disappointment. You hate to see it. You really do. Yes, I won! Yes, I won. Well, that's the tournament. Which means we'll probably uh, sit through a cutscene or something and then save and then we'll switch out games. That's we'll play something else. Talking. Get some more nostalgic PS2 games today. Again, if you're just coming into chat now and you haven't answered yet, our question, our question of the day is what is your most nostalgic PS2 game? Not your, your favorite, not the best. What's the most nostalgic to you? The gold medal for 5,000 points. We can afford some cool Bakugan now. You know, if we want to get them. If we want them. Ooh, there are definitely some cooler Bakugan I want to get in the future. We, uh, we might come back to this game on variety streams. We might not. I feel like most of these variety stream games we're doing on PS2 are going to be like one shots. <laughs> he just called me a noob. Hi, Leonidas. Nice to meet you. I'm Dan. <laughs> not much of a talker, are you? He's new here, so he's not used to humans yet. Who is? I take it that Leonidas didn't come to Earth with the other back who gone through Dr. Michael's portal. Based on my analysis of his battling abilities and his attitude in combat, I conclude he arrived on Earth at a different time than the others. I wonder what delayed his appearance here on Earth. Perhaps I he's wonder. planning something beyond just Bakugan battles. Hey, oh. what makes you say that? Yeah, relax, Marucho. You have an overactive imagination. Foreshadowing. Hi, Marucho. Tigrera said there's something weird about how aggressive he is. Maybe you should find a different partner. Tigrera is just jealous. Yeah, Tigrera is just fine. You didn't even use Tigrera. Shut the fuck up. I understand how you feel, but I really think you ought to listen to Runo. I've got to help out at my parents' restaurant. I gotta go. Just think about it, okay? Don't I refuse to think team. about anything. Just start thinking about your next battle. The tag team tournament's coming up. Tag team tournament? The tag team, team tournament. together, like you and me. When we win, Runo and Marucho will come around. What do you think? Sweet. So you're in? Whenever you want to practice, just come down to the park. Nice. Okay. I think that's the whole cutscene. We can probably save and uh, switch games now. Can probably save and switch games now. New items available in the store. Dan is waiting for you in the park. Yeah, but I'm going to my room. I gotta save the game. What should I do? <clears throat> what should I do? Okay. Game is saved. Alright. What are we gonna play next? I'm looking at all the games I have over here. I think I think we're gonna do a uh, Ratchet Deadlocked. Hmm. Maybe some okay. It's such a hard decision. Ratchet Deadlocked, Simpsons hit and run. Ratchet Deadlocked. Simpsons hit and run. Ratchet Deadlocked. Simpsons hit and run. I think I'm gonna go Ratchet Deadlocked just because I'm not afraid of DMCA for music in that game. So let me grab that off the shelf here. And uh, give me one moment. I've got to jump below the desk again, shut off, the, <laughs> shut off the PS2, switch the games, the whole shebang. So I will be back up in one second. The source will disappear for a moment. Hi, Unworthy. I'm switching games right now. Give me one sec. How you doing today? While I'm down there switching games, I gotta ask you, what is your most nostalgic PS2 game? 